Making sure all students throughout the GEM state are getting the same access to quality education. It's why new Common Core state standards are in place. But what do parents, teachers, and administration officials in the Twin Falls School District really think about them? Michelle Bartlemay for Idaho's First News goes inside the classroom to take a look at these core standards. Learn how we can find a percent of a number. Inside Peggy Hoy's sixth grade classroom. It's always out of 100. It's always out of 100. Students are finding the same percent, but how they're learning is all new. And what is my percent? What's different from what we used to teach is we had a curriculum and we had a book and we followed the book followed the curriculum. And now the Common Core are common standards that are taught statewide. This math teacher calls it intentional teaching. We used to teach the kids um, speed and quickness and memorizing and that, but they never knew why two times three is six. They never understood that grouping, they just had it memorized. So with Common Core, we're able to show them a lot of different ways to get to that part. Common Core standards are a benchmark of what students need to know at each grade level. Part of the standards, the literacy standards, there's an expectation mm -hmm. that all of our teachers do teach writing and um, writing in their content area. Moving through these new standards is a learning game for teachers. They have had a, a shift of trying to find resources that match the standards and um, some of them have recognized that what we once taught in you know maybe seventh or eighth grade and shifted down to sixth grade and, and there's been a shift of some of the curriculum to different grade levels. We're raising the bar for our students. And the standards are more I think they're more rigorous. For parents, I think that if we have the teaching in place that our students need to be able to understand these standards and be able to apply them and use them and have the materials available to be able to support that, anything is possible. Back at O'Leary Middle School, so what did you do well? Peggy Hoy is looking forward to working more with these new standards. This allows me to reach all levels. Of learning, I can I can go to all of my kids, and I can um, I can see where they're at, and I can see where their strengths are, and I can see where their weaknesses are. Room for improvement, she says, but ultimately she'd never go back to teaching like before. In Twin Falls, Michelle Bartlemé, Idaho's First News. As Idaho transitions to new standards, the state also must develop a new assessment. The testing window runs from March 30th to May 22nd. The State Department of Education plans to send the results this summer.